Okay, this is probably going to be, well, I want it to be the last video related to this Jeff Lee Brown. And it, this is why I don't even bother engaging with the guy these days. The first thing is, we go over here, Jeff was part of Scientology for 20 years. He's got his very own brainwashed views on the world. Um, I'm not a fan of somebody that's anti-Holocaust and things like that. I, I, I don't know how somebody can say things are wrong without actually having any facts or spending a bit of time even doing a bit of investigation on things. It's just a blinkered view to suit their own ideal. Um, and that's what I'm seeing with Jeff. It's, he, as you can see here, he was a staff member um, with the Scientology group in Australia. Now, he did that for 20 years. To get paid on this, which he was as a staff member, um, you have to bring money in. You're not paid a salary. You pay 30% commission on the money you bring in from people. 30% of the unit, the, and it's as you can see here, I think it's got it phrased. Oh, it's not on this page. It's phrased as a Scientology business unit, because that's what it is. It's getting people to give you money. That's what Jeff's been doing, um, because... Otherwise, what else would he be doing there? Um, but the point is, this is obviously where his sales ability comes from, is getting people to give money to some strange religious thing. But let's move on from that, because I want to give something that is a bit more factual. Um, that's his searches. This is on about his nutrition and all this sort of stuff. He has it. The funny thing with this is, he writes it with one viewpoint, but his actual reflection in himself is actually the opposite, which is really, really strange. Because you generally find people that are genuinely, like the way he writes, uh, relating to all the hippie type stuff, are generally laid back. They're not really confrontational, argumentative. So it's, it's very bizarre that he has this thing where I don't think he's happy with his life. But anyway, this is what we're moving on to. This is affluence marketing, which is, where are you? Ah, oh, that's that one. Uh, let's just open this up in another link. So here we have Jeff. This is Jeff in his affluence marketing, well, I said, might as well be affluent marketing. Jeff sells his advertising, the, these banners down here, and he's got enough here to make $12,000 a year. Um, he sells them for $600 a year. This site is actually worthless, um, which gets me back to this page. It's worth $259 in total. If you had a website for a year and had hardly any visits, you're probably expecting to be around that sort of figure. It's not going to be much more. But this site has been around for four years. It doesn't actually do anything. It's not ranked. It's not really noticed. It's got these little things that nobody ever reads. Um, although it's got, you know, these hits, I don't think they're real. I don't think the numbers are actually genuine. Because if you actually turn around and look at things through here, for example, the site's been up for three years, nine months, 28 days. It's got 67 uh, Google indexes. It's Alexa rank, which I don't even know how you get a minus one. It's minus one. It's been indexed seven. It's got no Google backlinks, no Yahoo links. Uh, it's got three in Alexa. Oh look, it's got a total of one external link. External links are the ones that you want. The, the backlinks going back to your site, right? If I was paying six hundred dollars a year. I'd expect more than this. Now I'm going to put in. Let's put in one of my sites. One of my because I haven't done a lot with my websites to be honest. But let's. Okay, I had to load Tropical Pan Pal for some reason. Cigarettes Pal wouldn't load, which would be strange. Um, but as you can see, this site, it's it's the same site because it's actually really uh, it goes to Cigarettes Pal. Um, but as you can see, it's it's worth seven and a half thousand dollars according to this. Um. Is that real money? No. <laughs> but the, the point is, you'll be able to see I've got an Alexa rank of nearly a million. Uh, Facebook likes, Facebook shares, 
Google Plus shares, 194 links in Alexa, total links over 1,500, daily views 550. That's the sort of stuff you would be looking for if you were paying this Jeff Lee Brown, wherever he is, some money for these adverts. His site is basically worthless. It doesn't have traffic, it doesn't have enough good content. Like for example, here he does, oh, fencing world. Okay, Jeff, what talks about fencing in here? Nothing. Uh, about ferries, nothing. Fishing adventures, no. Anything regional? Anything that would actually be of SEO value to these people that paid money to you? No. Um, the other thing is, it's only on this main page. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me click on this article here. So you paid $600 for this on a website, and he doesn't even put you on all the pages. Now, I'll be honest with you, if my site was making a lot of money, and you're paying $600, it would not be on every page. But if I had a crappy site, and you're paying $600, I'll tell you now, I'd expect to be down the side at least one in three pages. All it tells me is Jeff doesn't really know anything about the internet. He knows how to sell on the phone. But at the same time, he's also been talking people into Scientology. So where's the moral guidance on there? This is a guy that tells people in his own viewpoint that he's out there for the little man. Um, let's have a look at Jeff's own page. Let's see what his little chat's about. Uh, so he's in agricultural sales. Four years in the industry. He went on just to discovery of uh, becoming more effective pursuits. Ah, 1995, he worked in marketing side of the life improvement industry. He was selling Scientology. Um, he learned the knack, blah, 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 waffle, waffle. Disturbed by the enormous expense that some companies charge their agents. Yes, Jeff, you're one of them. You, you're overcharging this garbage. Um, this is a bit of Jeff's philosophy is the small business owner is the real backbone of society that keeps the wheels in motion and therefore should be helped the most. Yes, Jeff, you're right. And this is why I bothered to put this on here because I didn't want to see that I'm criticizing because I don't like you. But the point is, I, it's not that I don't like you, Jeff. I do not know you to dislike you. But what I don't like is when you turn around and put this rubbish on here that you actually care when you don't. You've taken $600 off each one of these people according to your own advertisement campaign uh, which is on the front page by your own pricing um, these fence this fencing company these little businesses you've turned around and exploited them um, maybe because they've got a lack of knowledge on internet services or maybe you've oversold it either way they're not getting value for money they're getting ripped off thanks for watching